Watu wa Soul Generation mtaniambia why are you playing with Sapa? Mbona kuna kuku hapo inashtaka kupiga kelele? Why are you enticing me for no reason? But hi, thank you so very much for playing the song. So yeah, that was your favorite song. This is your favorite show. Favorite breakfast show, Lydia's breakfast show around. You can find us at White Five on Facebook at White Five Channel on Twitter. Hashtag is What in the Morning. Mimi kama Rayana itova, or at Kalamida on everything. And it is my honor to bring to you Health Monday. How healthy is your Monday? Hmm. Yeah, but mine wasn't very healthy. It didn't start off very well. I had drank like three cups of coffee. <laughs> Maybe, maybe we get to the expert and see what's up. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to the set. Hello. What's your good name? Um, Aisa Kohome mm -hmm. uh, Washira. What my, do you do? I, my business is all about hearing, mm -hmm. taking care of hearing mm -hmm. and uh, hearing health care. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mbona kuna watu wengine wako na masikio pepe? Kuna hivi na au wengine wako na tudobo? Uh, basically, uh, we have different uh, sizes of ears, mm -hmm. and we take genes from our parents. Mm -hmm. So most of that is genetic. Uh, the size of the ears is basically genetic, mm -hmm. and you realize that uh, you know with age, this especially small children, they tend to have bigger ears than their head. Mm -hmm. But as they grow, they grow, they outgrow basically. Mm. They become proportional. Yeah, they become proportional. So. Children, stop being mean. <laughs> Talking about flying. Yeah. No, don't do it. <laughs> Hashtag is by into morning. Yeah. So we were talking about a couple of fun <coughs> facts about the ear with mm -hmm. yours truly, Sankara Kayusu. And one of the things I discovered, I don't know how true this is. It says, Ati, your, your ear lobe, it continues to grow. Is it true? Yeah, the, the ear grows uh, basically until, until around 14, 15 years of age. Mm -hmm. And then it stops. Oh, so Alinipima, because it said on the article that they d don't stop growing. Yeah, it, it just it just it just stops uh, up to a certain age, and then now, the, but the face continue sort of growing. Mm -hmm. uh, it grows very slowly, but uh, hearing mm -hmm. hearing starts as early as uh, four weeks uh, in the uterine. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah, uh -huh. as early as that, and then from there it just stays on like that. So it's legit at you can toto kwa tumbo and not scare when you put for them music. Yeah, they hear. Oh my gosh, I'm <laughs> going to have so much fun. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. my gosh. Okay, that it's is true. beside the point. Another fun fact mm. is that the ears don't ever get to go off. Yes. So you're always they're always working whether I'm sleeping or not. It's true. But mbona mm, sikia give you ni kilala. Sana sana alarm. Mbona mwa sikia alarm na nimelala. So the you know the ear has uh, it's it's in the part of the brain uh, almost like it's like breathing. It doesn't stop. It's 24 hours. It works 24 hours. Uh, and it's on throughout until even even the somatico says that even when you die it's like the ear that dies last after you die wow. so it's really an amazing part of uh, the body but uh, when you're sleeping it's just on it's just on but it's on for alarming issues mm -hmm. or anything that will make you sort of uh, get alarmed that's the, t the point that basically wakes you up mm -hmm. yeah but it's on throughout it doesn't stop. So already. it's my brain that's playing tricks yes. on me. Yes, it's the brain. Not to self. Mm -hmm. All right. Another fun fact about the ear that I, I discovered is ati, ati, the, the little two hairs inside help with the hearing. Oh, the little hairs inside there, their work is basically first is to clean the, the ear. Mm -hmm. So the ear works like a conveyor belt. Mm -hmm. It just removes dirt from inside to outside. Oh. So the ears are like the brushes, they clean off whatever is coming out, they trap some insects and dust and all that. That's the basically the work of the hairs mm -hmm. in the ears. So it's self-cleaning? It's yeah, self-cleaning. The ear cleans itself. It's like a conveyor belt. It just cleans quite well. Yeah, because it has done the cleaning, and then you're also pushing it inside with your cotton bud. So oh my God. cleaning, you push back, cleaning, you push back. Okay, okay. Yeah. And also I understand it it kind of works like mucus. So kakuna tuvumbi, tuna yes, yes. So in a block you up on a Yes. 
who's, who's, who's a bright one? I'm the, <laughs> the, the bright one. Yeah, I'm feeling very intelligent yeah, today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Another fun fact about ears, and this one you have to explain to me like a baby. Mm -hmm. How is it that it affects my balance? The two ears in my head affecting something that's happening Your balance. on this side. So basically, the, the ear has two main functions. One of them is hearing, and the other one is uh, balance. So there's a part of the ear that basically senses or detects your position, your head position, your movement, and they work in conjunction with your knees and your eyes. So they work together such that uh, if you turn, if you, you know, if you incline, if you bend, your, your head, you are able to know exactly at what angle where you are. And uh, if, you know, if you're inclining, those kind of things. So basically, the work of the ear is to help you with balance mm. uh, and hearing. So those are the two main functions of the ear. So I understand when you have an ear infection, mm -hmm. you might tend to feel a bit... Sure, sure. Yeah, but mbona mlevi utembevo? So, <laughs> so the, one of the reasons is uh, mlevi basically works on the part of the brain. Mm -hmm. Because remember the uh, the problem with alcohol is coordination. Mm -hmm. You lose coordination, so that part of loss of coordination is what we refer as loss of balance. So they don't coordinate; mm -hmm. they become incoherent and all that. It's like they, they become like children. They, yes. they walk the yes. same. Yes, they talk walk. The they, same. they stagger <laughs> around. Yeah, they become a taxi. All those kind of things. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. So how do we know if we have an ear infection and it's not just you know, uchafu, mm -hmm. ama, ama, yeah. you, you, you've taken something, or uche, I'm karaka sana lafu kaske, okay, let me first sit back down and see what's going on, then okay. I stand up. That kind of dizzy spell that you feel. Okay. Yeah, how do you know if it's, you're actually really sick? Ama ini ni kakitu tu. All right, you know, signs of infection, infection can come in many ways, and it can come, dif it can have different signs and symptoms. Uh, one, one of the main uh, symptoms of infection is when you have a fever mm -hmm. and again when you have pain and pain can come basically in the ears you can have some aspects of loss of balance or dizziness uh, just be having those dizzy spells or spinning uh, and then the other important thing is you can lose your hearing so wow. the hearing can come all of a sudden or it can come progressively uh, those kind of things are some of the symptoms when you have uh, ear infection. And of course, ear mm -hmm. infection can go from the ear, especially uh, when you have like pain, it can radiate from the ear and it goes either to the nose or to the throat or vice versa. It's like you read my mind because the next thing I was going to ask, I, I'd, I've never really heard of an ear doctor or, okay, yes, they're there, but the, the, the most common version of this is I hear ear, nose, and mouth. Yes. Like an tattoo. Yes. yes. How, how is there a relation it's, to the ear? The it's, really, it's really inter interconnected. The nose is interconnected with the ears. The nose is interconnected with the mouth and so on. So basically, for example, the nose, there's a tube that connects the nose to the to the ears that's called the stitch and tubes mm -hmm. that helps us with balance uh, with the uh, pressures air pressures you feel like for example when you're going in a mountain or you're scuba diving and you're really going low and you feel your your, your ears are blocked mm. okay it's because it's that tube that helps us balance the external uh, pressure and the internal pressure which basically opens when you're opening your uh, your mouth or when you're chewing or you're when you're talking that's when it opens and it closes when you close your mouth so it helps us it basically helps us balance the two mm -hmm. and again the same the, the the nose is connected to the mouth through the backside sometimes that's when you feel maybe like mu mucus is coming back and falls at Ooh, the throat there's a like kind of noise things. people <laughs> yeah, yeah i will not make it in the morning <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 so th when saliva is pulling back or yeah so this or when you're breathing basically there's an opening at the back so air goes back to the throat and then from the throat to the lungs so that is the interconnection and again infections uh they can they can run either way. They can run to the nose, they can run to the throat, and they can run to the ears. So that's why we are usually sort of around that area. Wow. Yeah. Hey, scientist. Uh -huh. Who's feeling like a scientist <laughs> this morning? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I, I read about this, this uh, condition. 
mm -hmm. don't call it a disease. Mm -hmm. uh, mm, forgive me if I can't remember it was uh -huh. Tinnitus. That one. Tinnitus. That yeah. one. Yeah. Something yeah. about you hearing buzz or yeah. or uh, it's, it's as if ding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's no source outside. Yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. you, and it's just in your head. Mm -hmm. So how how do you first realize that's what's going on, and how do you? They say there's no cure, so it's for living with it. Yeah. So basically, we, tinnitus is uh, the noise that comes from the ears, with uh, either as a result of something, or. Uh, Oh, like a loud explosion when yeah. you are close to Yeah, I mean like, one, 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 you know, when we say tinnitus, it can come from, the easiest way we categorize them is tinnitus that has come as a result of hearing loss, and tinnitus that occurs when you don't have hearing loss. So for people who have hearing problems, mm. or they can't be able to hear well, it's basically another sign there's another sign that you have. It's like a watchman telling you there's a problem, mm. uh, and this problem needs to be solved. So there's, there's that constant buzzing noise in the ears or in the head, as people say. Uh, so basically tells you there's something going on, and I think your hearing is low, mm -hmm. and that's why I'm buzzing every other time. And, and a very good example is like for people who have uh, problems with hypertension. Mm -hmm. So you never see them having pain anywhere or anything like that. They're just basically either complaining of blood, vision, or headache. Mm -hmm. So the same way with uh, hearing loss, mm -hmm. if you have tinnitus, then it's always, always prudent to make sure that your hearing is checked. And then we have the other category of people without hearing loss, but they still have tinnitus. Mm -hmm. And that tinnitus can be contributed by many things. Some of them are lifestyle things, like <gasps> medication, uh -huh. uh, uh, coffee, too much coffee, those kind of things. You know, lifestyle can be yeah, stress and all that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when you're stressed, you can have tinnitus and many other things and then the very rare things is sometimes people who have some types of special uh, growths or tumors those are the you know the the, the rare kind of uh, people with tinnitus mm. but the type of tinnitus is that one that pumps like blood it pumps like blood oh yeah it's like you're hearing a, a yeah, pulse in yeah you. yeah so wow. that is a different type of tinnitus yeah. It's a lot to learn yeah. in this class. Yeah. Okay, I, I have... Oh, now you've confused me a little bit. Okay, let me remind you where you are. You're watching Why in the Morning, yeah. in particular on channel Y254. You can find us at Y254 on Facebook, Y254 channel on Twitter. Hashtag is Why in the Morning. In case you have a question for the doctor, please don't ask me any questions. I don't know. I'm also asking. Are we together? Yeah. All right. So, what I would... Did you not... <laughs> tinnitus. 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 I want to say yeah. tetanus because that's the first thing. <laughs> yeah, it's tinnitus. Okay, so is is hearing loss hereditary or again is it lifestyle? And why are my devices always telling me? I'm trying to add the volume with my earphones. Uh, uh, constant or uh, uh, loud volume will impact. No, shh. Yeah, I yeah, want yeah. what I want. Give yeah, me. <laughs> yeah. It's important. You know, tomorrow is a world hearing day. Mm -hmm. And uh, hearing globally is causing a lot of disabling uh, issues. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are so many reasons why you can lose hearing. 60% of hearing loss is preventable. So as a result of infection, and another common thing, like you said, is uh, noise, what we call noise-induced hearing loss that affects the, the young, you know, young generation. Mm -hmm. And you know, a very big percentage between 12 to 35 years of age are losing their hearing because of recreational causes. Uh, one of them is listening to loud music or mm -hmm. listening to music for a long duration of mm -hmm. time. Oh, so those, those, are, those are some of the causes of uh, hearing loss. Mm -hmm. And another thing that you have talked about is uh, you know, be, being a hereditary problem. Mm -hmm. So you can inherit genes from either parents, mm -hmm. uh, which can cause you to have uh, hearing loss. Uh, so apart from genetic causes, apart from infectious causes, apart from noise-induced uh, type of uh, hearing loss, there are many other uh, causes of hearing loss can that can occur either before birth, after birth, or as you, you know, as you grow up.
Yeah. There's this common misconception that if you find someone maybe who's experiencing hair loss, mm -hmm. the the right thing to do is start shouting. <laughs> how, how do you how do you relate to yeah. you know, if if you've never been around people who so, are differently able? So yeah, this year the theme is uh, let hearing loss not limit you, mm -hmm. and hearing is life. And one of the things that WHO is telling us is that uh, communication is so important. And uh, we communicate in different ways. And when we find people who have problems with hearing loss, we tend to stigmatize them. Uh, some of them feel isolated. Some of them actually feel even sh ashamed when you shout to them or yeah. you, when they want you to repeat or when they ask you to repeat, so they feel sort of ashamed even to talk about their issues. Mm -hmm. Because remember, hearing loss is a hidden disability. And, uh, you know, we tend to stigmatize these people, even in schools, at workplace, and mm -hmm. all that. Uh, when we try to shout to them, you know, telling them to repeat, or basically when they ask us to repeat, we, we tend to think that they are a little bit dumb mm -hmm. or something like that. And really they are going through a very difficult time mm -hmm. of their life. So hearing is life. It's, it's part of everyday communication. Mm -hmm. And without good hearing, then it is very difficult even to communicate. And you know, uh, even deaf community, they need to watch things like television. And that's why we have the captions of people Mm -hmm, with, you know, mm -hmm, signing mm -hmm. because it's life. It's part of life. They, they they want to be integrated with the society, and when we find somebody without with a problem with hearing, then there are interventions that needs to be done. Mm -hmm. One of them could be a hearing aid. Maybe these people might need a cochlear implant, mm -hmm. and uh, more so the problems that they have is either they are not seeking uh, medical care. Mm -hmm or whether they don't know that uh, there's an intervention. Uh, and uh, those are some of the things that limit them to, uh, to come forward to seek guidance and help uh, with their hearing problems. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, one of the things that we should, uh, when we are commemorating uh, the World Hearing Day tomorrow, is to tell people they should come out, get tested, and get intervention mm -hmm. so that they have a normal way of communicating with mm. other people. Because uh, I can imagine when I was younger, we used to play a game called Broken Telephone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then on a whisper key too. Mm -hmm. So by the time it starts, if I was saying, why in the morning is the best yeah. for our remedy for Monday morning. By the yeah. time you know, yes. uh, morning, something, holiday, <laughs> Somalia, MPs or something. So yeah. communication is important. It's really and, it and just to be sure, selective hearing is uh -huh. you can't hear, but ukitwa <laughs> form ati uko, that is the one you hear. Yo siu gonjwa na uh -huh. All right. So what was last year's theme? Last year's uh, basically theme was uh, get your hearing checked. Mm -hmm. S but today is uh, we are saying is that let hearing loss not limit you, mm -hmm. and hearing is life. Have you encountered people who have had hearing loss and have been limited by them? Sure, sure. You know, I, I, like I said, hearing loss is basically a hidden disability. Being a hidden disability, especially for children, it means that uh, first they'll have delayed speech. They'll delay oh. in terms of speaking. And we have seen lots of children that are coming to be tested when they're around six years of age or seven years of age and they can't be able to communicate or talk. When they should have come and they yeah. are how old? They should have come as early as three years of age. Uh -huh. And you know, the reason why is because the child needs to be taken to school and they can't be able to speak. Uh -huh. And that's when they come. So when they're coming for us to do intervention and they should have developed, you know, speech by three years of age, mm. then it means this child is delayed the entire life. Mm. Because by the time he, we have intervention, probably we put a cochlear implant or hearing aid and then we start speech therapy and then they go back to school. It basically has a huge impact on this child life mm -hmm. through out her entire life mm -hmm. and of course an impact even on the parents mm -hmm. in terms of finances and all that uh, at workplace you know there are people who are being fired every other time because for instance the boss with a secretary tells the secretary 
I need water or I need something and then they bring something totally different. Sasa ina kama mtu kuna kitu ngumu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's oh, like you yeah. don't hear me and you know at some point you have some pressure at mm -hmm. work and you're the boss mm -hmm. and you're telling somebody to give you this and gives you something different. Oh. It basically has an impact. Mm -hmm. uh, it has an impact uh, in every other aspect even at home when you're speaking to your spouse probably you have to you are there are people who have come to us especially the elderly people mm -hmm. and they really want to speak things within the home they don't want anybody else to hear and because they can't hear wow they have mm -hmm. to, you have to shout to them mm -hmm. and then it's like you're breaking the secrets within the family so it basically has an impact it's a problem in each and every. It, it, it is a problem it is a problem mm -hmm. it is a problem at home mm -hmm. at school uh, people have your know, children basically having poor grades because they can't hear the teachers remember for children they they depend on instructions and commands from the teachers and the lecturers mm -hmm. so when you can't hear instructions or commands you be just you just tend to copy what what is going on so you sit next to somebody who's writing you just copy what they're doing and you do what they're doing but you're not following instructions I love yeah, because yeah, yeah. you were copying yeah Boy. yeah even kids Boy. are being beaten by their parents mm. every other time uh, because they think they they, 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 are, they can't hear them oh, yeah so they are being beaten every other time and the problem is they can't hear yeah how can we join in the festivities of tomorrow? As so to tomorrow uh, in Nairobi at uh, Kenyatta National Hospital in conjunction with University of Nairobi, in conjunction with Stucky Hearing Technologies and CBM and uh, other institutions will be hosting a uh, free hearing check at uh, University Ground just next to Kenyatta National Hospital. Mm. And of course, the institutions like the Stucky Hearing Foundations will be coming in handy and other institutions to help out with some of the interventions that they'll be having on the grounds. Uh, and other counties, uh, for example, they, like the Nandi County, mm -hmm. uh, they also will be commemorating. At home, uh, WHO has introduced an application that is called Hear Who. Mm -hmm. So it's a phone-based wow. application that mm -hmm. you can do your hearing check at home. Just need earphones. Oh. Yeah, you just need earphones and then you just check your hearing and it will tell you if you have good hearing and if you have a problems, then you need to see an audiologist or a hearing specialist to help you out. Okay, yeah. that, that sounds grand, guys. Yeah. So for me, a casual miscan again, what time does it start? I says as early as eight in the morning, mm -hmm. up to five. So tomorrow is just commemoration, and uh, we are even encouraging people from the fourth estate mm -hmm. to help us with a campaign in creating awareness. Mm -hmm. Let people come out, let their hearing be checked, and if you have anybody with hearing loss, let's not stigmatize them. Uh, tell them to seek uh, help from the ENT specialist, mm -hmm. the hearing you know, specialist in terms of hearing aids mm -hmm. and other modalities. If it is a result of a simple thing as wax impaction, that can be removed and you restore your hearing 100%. It oh, wow. could be a foreign body, those kind of things. Just have your hearing checked and you resolve the problems that are uh, as a result of poor hearing. Is it free? It's free. It's definitely free. Kenyans, what else do you want? <laughs> it's a party tomorrow from yeah. 8 to 5 yeah. p.m. Go get your ears checked. Now, maskio kubwa si shida. Yes. Maskio pepe pia si shida. Yeah. Na selective hearing again si shida. So, kuende tunashida za ukweli. Thank you so very much for coming, Dr. Thank you very much. Dr. Itena, Dr. Thank you very much. Yes, you're still watching White in the Morning. I suggest you stay with us because we have MCM coming up. And the topic is very, very interesting as usual. But in case you don't know what it is yet, go check on our pages. White 5 on Facebook, White 5 on Twitter, hashtag is what in the morning. See you in a bit.